Hello guys, I'm Rebel and welcome back to Anybody Can Code Python series. Today, we'll be discussing about arrays in Python. So just like list, an array can be defined as a collection of elements that are of the same data type. And arrays are one of the most commonly used data types in other programming languages. But in Python, it is not that commonly used because list can also be used as arrays in Python. So what do you think is the use of arrays in Python? Well, arrays are specially designed to perform mathematical computations, which is something that cannot be performed using list. Say for example, let's create a list. L list is equal to 2, 3, 4, 5. And then Let's perform division on it. Let's divide by 2 and then print div. So now let's see what happens. So it throws an error, but you can do the same using arrays. So now let's see how to create arrays in Python. In order to create an array, First, you need to import the array module. From numpy import array. So numpy refers to numerical python, which is specially used to perform numerical computations. Now, let's create an array and perform division over it. Array of 2, 3, 4, 5. And div is equal to array divided by 2 print div. So now let's run this and check. As you just saw on using numpy arrays, we were able to perform division on arrays. But to perform simple operations on arrays, you can simply use the array module. So now let me show you how to do it from array import star. And now let's create an array called as nums equal to array of i comma the elements of the array so here i denotes integer which is nothing but the type code of the array that helps in declaring the data type of the array here is a list of some of the most commonly used type codes in arrays and now let's print the elements of this array using a for loop. For i in i in for i in nums print i. Let's run it and check. So the elements of the array got printed. And now you can even check the type code of the array by using the type code method. Print nums dot type code. So it written i that is nothing but integer. And guys, you can even check the count of occurrence of a particular element in an array by using the count method. So here, I'd like to check the count of occurrence of one. So now, print nums dot count of one. So let's run this. So we got the count as two as there are two ones in this array. And now let's try to create a character array. So a character array can be created by using the type code u. 
So now let's see how to do it. Let me change this to vowels. Let me replace I with U, which is the type code of character. Let's print all the vowels. So that's how you can create character arrays. Now let's see how to get an array of values from a user. Firstly, you have to declare an empty array. Let me name it as int array is equal to array of i comma square brackets. So this is how you can create an empty array. And then get the length of the array from the user int of input of enter the length of the array. And then using a for loop, let's get the elements from the user for i in range of x that is the length of the array and inside this n is equal to int of input of enter the element So now we've got the elements from the user, but it has not yet been inserted in the array. So to insert, you can use the append method, which will insert the elements effectively. Int array dot append of n. And then finally, print int array. Now let's run this. Enter the length of the array. Let me give 5. Let's enter the values. So that's how you can create arrays in Python. And guys, you can access the element of an array by using the slicing operator, just like this. Int array of 2. Let's rerun this. Since we gave 2, it must return the third index value. So let's see what it gives. So it gave 3. So just like how array slicing is similar to list slicing, in the same way you can also insert or remove elements from a list by using the same methods that we have used in list. Except that the sort method is not supported in arrays. And guys, Searching is made very simple here. You can search for an element by simply using the index method. So let's see how to do it.
array dot index of let's search for two so this index method actually returns the first occurrence of the element given now let's write a program to find the largest number in an array so for that let's use the same array now let me create a function named largest and pass this array comma n so n is nothing but the length of the array and inside this let's create a variable called as max and assign it to the first value of the array the first value will be at the zeroth index so array of 0 and then let's create a for loop for i in range which runs from 1 to n that is the length of the array and inside which let's compare the first value with each of the elements of the array so let's use an if condition if array of i which denotes all the elements of the array if array of i is greater than max then max is equal to array of i and then return max and finally let's print the return value largest number in the array let's pass this array as well as n click on run so, so the largest number in the array is 5 and guys that's all about arrays we'll be learning about the next collection data type in the next tutorial until then stay tuned and see you all in the next hey youtube how are you doing stay tuned to facebook for more awesome videos don't forget to subscribe